guys, it is 11 o'clock on day four. I've just been editing my video um, for days two and three, which is currently uploading. Um, ate some breakfast, drank some coffee. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do today because my original plan was to go to the used books that are in my library and see if they had Scarlet because their books there are like two dollars or less so I figured I would go look but then I realized this morning that today is day one of my town's art fair which is really cool and I love the art fair it shuts down like so many streets downtown and parking is a bitch so then I was like that's cool that's fine I'll just take the bus right wrong they recently changed all the bus numbers and the bus routes they have been the same for my entire life as long as I can remember these freaking bus routes have been the same and they changed the numbers and the routes and so I've been sitting on the website online trying to figure out which bus I have to take to get downtown and I am having quite a problem so assuming that I can figure that out I will be going downtown but who even knows if that's gonna happen hi Baba. hi how are you will you go will you go boy while Harry's gone you wanna go get Tonky where's Tonks Yubi where's Tonks so where she is thank you for showing me hi Papa <laughs> hello hello Yes, hello. Yes, hello. I missed you. Yes, hi. Yes, hello. Hello. It is 3.57. Um, I got home around 3. Um, I ended up going downtown. I think I got downtown around like noon-ish. Um, I went to the used bookstore in the library. They didn't have any of the Lunar Chronicles books, which was kind of disappointing. But then I just went and wandered around the art fair. After I walked around the art fair, I went back to the library. By the way, I caught like tons of Pokemon on the bus and at the art fair and stocked about Pokeballs and it was really great. But after I walked around the art fair, I went back to the library to charge my phone a little bit. Um, and then I went back into the used bookstore because I needed to break one of my five so that I could get changed to ride the bus with. So I bought a book. Um, I got Fly Away by Kristen Hanna. Um, this is a sequel to Firefly Lane, I think is what it's called, um, which I read a couple years ago. It's the only Kristen Hanna book I've ever read, but I really, really liked it. I didn't know that there was a sequel until recently, and they had it at the used bookstore, and it was $2, and I haven't heard great things about it, but I figured I liked the first one so much, I might as well give it a try. So I bought that. Also, while I was at the library, I read some of the color purple. I made it to page 82. It's like 40 pages or so. For my last ones, haven't done a lot of reading today, but I think I can finish The Color Purple tonight and hopefully watch the movie. It is 9.40. I finished The Color Purple a little while ago, and then I just sat here thinking about it and life. It gave me a lot of feels. Um, I really liked it. I haven't reached like a rating or anything yet just because I can't. I just, it gave me a lot of feelings and I need time to like sort them out before I can properly like rate or review this book. But I am going to watch the movie right now. I made myself some popcorn and I'm just gonna, just gonna watch it and hopefully it's good. Okay, so I watched <clears throat> like 20 minutes of the Color Purple movie and it's fine so far. They're starting some reading sprints on the Booktube on Twitter right now, and I just really feel like joining it. I just feel like reading, and reading sprints seem like a good time right now, so I'm just gonna do that instead, and maybe I'll watch the movie tomorrow or another day before the Booktube ends. But I'm gonna go ahead and start How to Build a Girl and see how much of that I can get read before I get too tired to read anymore. Hey guys, it is 10 a.m. on day five, I guess is what day it is. I managed to read 62 pages of How to Build a Girl last night before I fell asleep. Um, 
I think I'm just gonna read for a little bit. I also have some like adult things that I need to do today, like cleaning and laundry and chores. Um, but I really just wanna get some reading in first. So I'm just gonna read for a little bit. Um, and I'll uh, let you know how it goes. Hey guys, it is almost one o'clock. Um, I have read basically nothing. Um, I made it to page 90 of How to Build a Girl, which considering it's been three hours since I last talked to you, it's not great. I just, uh, I was trying to participate in sprints on Twitter and then I just kept getting distracted and like barely reading anything at all. So, um, there's that. I think since I'm clearly like can't focus on reading right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my chores and laundry and stuff that I have to do and watch the color purple while I do that. And then hopefully once all of that's done, um, I can just, I'll feel like reading again. So we'll see you guys in a little bit, right? She's like, no camera today, mom. I don't want to be on camera today. What about you? What are you doing? You want to be on the camera? Scooby. Scooby. Look here. Look. You want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? Do you want to be on camera now? <laughs> Getting the tail wags. Getting the tail wags from the donkey. And a dog sandwich. Don't ever let me tell you any different. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. So it is almost 10 o'clock. Um, since I last talked to you, I've just been doing chores and reading like sporadically. I've made it to page. 217 of how to build a girl um, I only have like only have this much left so I'm hoping I can finish that tonight good morning it's 7 30 on day six can't believe it's already day six last night I was reading how to build a girl and I made it to this page doesn't have a page number on it. To 267. Before I was just too tired to read anymore. So I can definitely finish that today and then start my seventh book. I'm gonna get out of bed and I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk. And then I have an appointment at 11. But after that, I don't have anything to do today except go home because my parents are going home today. It's the last day of Booktubeathon. I'm so tired right now. It's almost 8 o'clock. My I set an alarm for 7 o'clock. I've just been hitting snooze repeatedly for the past hour. I finished How to Build a Girl uh, yesterday after I got home from my appointment. Um, and I really, really, really liked it. And then I just packed all my stuff and came home with talks. And then I started Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And I didn't get very far into it. I didn't read a lot yesterday after we got home. Um, I'm on page. 35. So today I have to finish watching The Color Purple and read this book. I think my brother and I might be going downtown today because it's the last day of art fair and walking around. Um, so we'll see. Hey guys, it is about 5.30 I think. Just got home a little bit ago from the art fair with my brother. Before I left I made it to page 150 of Since You've Been Gone. Which means I still have like a little less than 300 pages to go 
and the color purple movie to watch so we'll see how this goes but I should be home the rest of the night and able to read so hopefully I can at least get this book done and that is the last of my booktubeathon vlogs so I'm just going to quickly go over everything that I read the first book I read was Sandman by Neil Gaiman which completed the challenge of reading a book only after sunset the second book I read was the feminist utopia project by Alexandra Brodsky and Rachel Cotter Nailbuff, um, which completed the challenge of reading a book with yellow on the cover. After that, I read Lady Susan by Jane Austen, which completed the challenge of reading a book that's older than me. Then I read Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which completed the challenge to read a book you discovered through book two. And after that, I read The Color Purple by Alice Walker, which completed the challenge to read and watch a book to movie adaptation but I never finished watching The Color Purple so I only completed half of this challenge. The next book I read was How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Warren which completed the challenge of reading a book by one of my favorite authors and the last book I started reading but didn't finish is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Mann. During the booktubeathon I read about 150 pages of this book. That brings my totals for the booktubeathon to six books plus 150 pages of another one and 1,824 pages which I am pretty proud of. Let me know in the comments how you did during the booktubeathon and I will see you guys with another video very soon. Bye!